This is Twit. Yesterday, well, we didn't find out till this morning that Microsoft is right. now going to um, turn on notifications in widgets on the desktop in Windows 11. And you know how they told right. people about this? It's a really fine print thing in the Microsoft release health page in Microsoft Docs. They didn't announce it. They didn't tell people anywhere. Um, Tom Warren at The Verge saw this and wrote a story about it. Um, I contacted Microsoft and I'm like, hey, are you going to tell people kind of more broadly that this is happening? And can you turn this off? Um, so this would be if you have widgets on your taskbar, like say the finance widget or, or breaking news, like when things are happening, it'll be like flashing down on your desktop. Like you'll see on the taskbar, like the stock ticker will be changing and stuff. And I'm like, you know, for some people that's going to be super and they're going to love that. They're going to think that's awesome. And for yep. other people, that's going to be so distracting. And if you can't turn that off, then people are just going to shut widgets off, right? Because that's just going so, to be overwhelming. <laughs> <laughs> this is in many ways the quintessential Windows 11 feature because yeah. in Windows 10, they had something very much like the widgets called news mm -hmm. and interest. And the way it was originally configured was you would mouse over the little icon for the thing. It was a weather forecast just like we have now in mm -hmm. Windows 11. And this thing would pop up and it was really kind of jarring, you know. And so they built a control into it so you could say, well, don't, don't pop up the, the news and information panel if I just mouse over it. Yeah. Let me click on it. And that will make it come mm -hmm. out. So they made it configurable after people complained. So you move forward to Windows 11, we have the same thing. They call it widgets now. They put it in a different place. The original version was just an icon, but over time they added the weather forecast bit. And right. so there are people who probably don't mind seeing the weather there on the taskbar. Mm -hmm. It's a nice little feature. Mm -hmm. right. But if you mouse yeah. over it, widgets comes up. And no, there is no control to not do that. So yeah. when you say, will there be a control to turn off this notification feature? Notifications. Mm -hmm. I don't know. I mean, there's no, I don't know, maybe, you know, but it's, it's so like Microsoft to, uh, you know, there's people in Redmond kind of rubbing their hands together. Oh, I can't wait till people see this. It's going to be a, such a moment for them. You know, this <laughs> yeah. is going to be, you know, and it's no like, pun intended. <laughs> where, where most people, like I'll be uh, someone like me who uses computers for work and is just trying to yeah. get the job done. Yeah. We'll see some uh, distracting thing in the corner and be like, what the, what the heck yeah. is going on what over What is here? happening? Like, right? why is, yeah. why is this thing moving around now? Yeah, you know, and it's why is I, the I stock arrow going up and then it's going down and then it's like oh, yeah. like you're like wait a minute what is I, happening right now? I think, right? They, I think they underestimate how badly these things can impact people. How cranky how people controls. like uh, yep. you are, yeah. Well, like people are, I would say you know it can Most be. People. I mean, you're like I very think just many said, people. Some, you think yeah. the people yeah. really you're going to go? Oh man, I don't want that arrow moving. Sorry, it, it like if you're driving a car, or you're, you're do, you, do you want one day for there to be this thing flashing in the corner while you're driving down the road, and then you, you have to look at it to figure out what it is, and it it's it's just you can and it's not you, uh, of course you could turn it off, yes. You can turn widgets off. Oh, you, you can't you can turn, turn off the animation the in the widgets. Oh. Right, right. That's it's, not they've so made good. it less configurable, and now they're adding features, which of course they will. It's you know we're moving forward. Yeah. That's fine. Yeah. Um, I just, I, I wish there was a little more thought yeah. about this kind of stuff, yeah. right? you know, and my, communication, my like Mary Jo said. Communication is the, is the problem yep. here, right? Because it felt almost like yep. they're sliding this in, in a place that most people will not hear about it until it happens on their computer. Right. It's going to so, happen yeah, over the think, coming weeks, right? <laughs> think about the two alternatives here. We're, we're going to surprise people with this new feature. We're not going to announce yeah. it. We're just going to surprise them. Yeah. One way to do it is one day you boot up your computer. And this window pops up in the middle and says, hey, congratulations, you just got this new feature for widgets. Here's what it yeah. does. Here's where you can turn it off if you don't want it, blah, blah, blah. This is how yep. it works. Great. Or just one day, all of a sudden, you're working, like I said, bing, 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 down in the corner. Yep. What it, you know, like, what's going wrong down here? Is this malware? What is it? <laughs> like, I, I, I don't understand that line of thinking. Like, it doesn't make sense to me. No, you know what? And they're going to do B, option B of those two things you just said. And you know why they're going to do right. that? Because a lot of people don't want widgets, right? Or they haven't really clicked on widgets or they haven't checked it out, right? So right. if they see right. something flashing, Microsoft's thinking, okay, if they see something flashing, they're going to click that. Then we're going to they're going to see the whole thing with widgets and all the possibilities. And they're going to start seeing, oh, that's where we put ads and where they can search with Bing, right? So it's just like, right. I feel like it's a trick almost. And I don't, I don't like <laughs> feeling like I'm being tricked, it's right? Trick. It's a trap. It is. This is exactly like um, uh, crapware that PC makers pre-install on, on Windows. Yeah. We did. Yeah. I did these studies for Signature PC Group, which is long gone. But at the time, 
you would you know bring a bunch of people in a room, show them different configurations, have them take notes and feedback. And it's 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 almost like a kids in the hall joke. You know, it's like what we found after all these years was that nine out of ten people can't stand it, but one out of ten is like, oh my god, I got extra stuff on my computer. That's fun. You know, and those people are out there. And and less humorously, there will be people who maybe follow stocks, and for some reason, this is how they do it, and they may want to see a little stock update in the corner. And God bless those people. There's nothing wrong with that. But yeah. inflicting that kind of UI on the majority of people who don't yeah. want it. Yeah. Is so is it your prediction right that there will be a hue and cry that people will be upset about this? Or that nobody will notice and right. nothing will happen? Or mm -hmm. that somebody at The yeah. Verge will write an article, hey, this is exciting. Your Windows widgets are moving now. Which 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 well, is the three alternatives? That, that that part will happen for sure. Yeah. Um, <laughs> I don't. I've I'll read an article telling how you can turn it how off. How to turn um, it off? So yeah, yeah. yeah, I don't. I don't know. It's hard to say. I, it is hard to say. I don't know. Mm -hmm. I mean, maybe. I don't know. I think I, I, I feel like businesses already probably any businesses who are already on Windows eleven, like big businesses, will have already turned off widgets, and that's just not even on, well, right? Like yeah, like who who wants this thing on? Like people who are not getting work yeah. done, you know, like. I've been trying right. to screw around all day at work, so I'm reading news stories over here in this feed yeah. instead of getting actual work done. Or who uses Windows day to day for work? Like, what do well, you wait use a minute it for, though? Right? I'm work. looking in my widgets. Here's an article: useful layering tricks when styling a corset with straps. Mm -hmm. See, see, right. I, you know, that. if if that hadn't shown up that. there, I wouldn't I, I wouldn't know. I wouldn't know. All right, fair enough. No, I think you've come debunked my yeah, thoughts. Thank goodness um, for that. Um, so. Yeah. Okay. Know. So I'm okay. Just bear with me because I'm slow. Yes. I won't have to open that little widgets tray to see the motion. It will be there. Right. Yes. It's automated. And the, the hope is that that animation yeah. will cause you to click on it. Which well, will that's cause what it's you to go about. to the web. It's the attract and load mode. Edge and yeah. load MSN yeah. and load Bing and then yeah. Microsoft remember in in, uh, in Pac Man. In fact, all the arcade video games they had something called attract mode. Which mm -hmm. would be the going on on the screen mm -hmm. in the arcade uh, in animation yeah. and it, hoping to draw you in to play the game. That's, right. That's exactly right. So they're adding yeah. attract mode to widgets, basically. basically. Well, so, so, so yeah, basically. no, and that, that actually you can kind of follow the evolution of this thing. This is again, like Mary Jo said, it's completely to drive you to Microsoft products and services. It's the only yeah. reason it exists. Yeah, it's, it's not just for like user, Edge user saying, "Come on, but you'd really like to use the first, Bing as your." Yeah, so engine. the first version was was stuck in with the other buttons. It didn't animate, didn't do anything. No one saw it. So Microsoft came up with, I think, is a genius, insidious idea. Hey, here's the here's the plan. Let's put it where the start button used to go. Exactly, because that people will will automatically click on this thing, right? And then they were like, "All right, right. Well, that didn't work. Nobody's touching it. Like, so Nobody's touching we'll it. We'll put the we'll put the weather on it. Now the weather will get people going for sure." And that probably did something. I think both those things mm -hmm. did something to raise yeah. engagement. Mm -hmm. And this is the next step. Like, well, you could have stocks in there. You could have sports scores. You could have, mm -hmm. you know, name anything. Um, yeah. Animations will get the track mode, basically. I'm sure that's probably what it's called internally. Mm -hmm. um, <laughs> By the way, I blame how you do we because get this thing? when I first installed Windows 11 on this machine, my widgets yeah. were useful news. It was good stuff. I didn't click on any you of it because I, I was nervous. <laughs> So now, okay. number one, my second husband of five years would like to inherit part of my home as he pay. Okay, uh, here's a here's a, a celebrity mugshots article from from Wonderwall. That's exciting. Yeah. This, these are, this, this, this is above the fold. California coastal destination is the most popular road trip in the world. <laughs> insurance study says. All right. So yeah. here's two two little tips about the widget bar widget. Actually, it's, what's the term? The widget board is the little the literal name of this thing. You, the things that are news stories are not widgets. Those are cards. They're from content sources. They're cards. News sources. Yes, they're you know, cards. News and entertainment sources. Yeah. Um, you can do two things. Um, well, actually, three things. You can add widgets to it. So widgets are the things that will go at the top, like uh, weather, stocks, That's the plus sports, button whatever. when it says plus. Yeah. yeah, yeah. That's right. You can. So that will so push some of that weather, nonsense down. That's nice. Yeah. Right? Okay. That's one. Photos, you could also go. In, you, yeah. you could spend the time to go through each of these cards, and, and you find one where you're like, "Well, this is terrible." This is a little dot 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 thing. You click that, and you say, "Hide stories from this news source, like People Magazine. You might not want whatever." Yeah, yeah, Show yeah. Show fewer stories like this. Oh, this is much actually better. the best. Th this is much better. Yeah, I'm liking this. The best yeah. thing you can do is click on something called Manage Interests, and it goes up to the web, and that because this is all MSN, blah blah blah, whatever. 
And there's an interesting thing, you know, when you sign up for like a music uh, streaming service, one of the first things you do is go through a wizard and it says, show us which artists you like. And it, you know, kind of formulates feeds based on your interests. There's a tune your feed feature where instead of going through individual, you know, things one at a time, it will, it will say, hey, show us some of the things you like. Yeah. And then if you, if you actually take the time to do this, the, the feed isn't as terrible as it is in the beginning when it shows the kind of stuff that you're saying. So I can get rid of Cleveland Baseball Insider? I think that's probably, I don't <laughs> well, know. Well, I, I, I mean, I wouldn't. But Fewer could, stories yeah. like this or a completely yeah, you know hide but, stories if I want. But now me. you'll right. get that's Columbus right. Cider. And <laughs> blow it up. Like, I feel like this right. thing doesn't work. The custom thing doesn't work. It, it so just, actually, I, it's, oh, yeah, so wait a minute. It replaced it with you know, something yeah. called Roto Baller. It's like Instagram. It actually <laughs> does work a lot better than it used to. It used to be terrible. Yeah, it really does. You used to not even take stuff away. It would just give you the exact right. same story from a different source, right? Yeah. <laughs> yep. No, yeah. it's got it has gotten a lot better. It really is has. It? Okay. Okay. Yeah. Good to hear. MLB World Relax re reacts to Fernando Tatis Jr.'s bobblehead news. Hey, mm. I can't live without bobblehead news. How, how was that not the top story in the New York <laughs> Times today? <laughs> the, know. You know what I did? Oh, see, here's what I went wrong. Okay. So it was giving me the Kansas City Royals versus the Minnesota Twins score in the top left sure. corner sure don't care about either of those so i thought customize this widget the only choice it really gives me is uh mlb oh i selected mlb and what i really care about is the giants is the giants or yeah yes let me add them instead and now i'll see oh now i'm seeing the Giants score okay so it just but they but you know what nobody ever wants to, to do this either that's the other problem with this well, like I said, though, it, it's not – you could do it in a way that doesn't take a lot of time because it, really it's tedious to go story it by story and say no, yeah. no, yeah, no. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But if you do that, there's a little wizard on the web that I'll actually do that. works yeah. pretty well. This is, You know what? This is definitely from the mobile phone experience. This is, yeah, this, this is, is well, it's a feed. I, I, I spend most of my time on my phone when I read, like looking at feeds basically. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. And yeah. I think that you know Microsoft sees that engagement, and they want, like yeah. we've been saying, wants this thing yeah. to be more like a mobile platform. Well, we'll, mm -hmm. put, we'll put a fee I, in there. I, yeah, I don't mind it so much, as long as it's hidden behind. And my uh, the top widget is a uh, is the weather, and so it's hidden behind the right. weather. Is that that's the default? Is that normal? Yeah, but you, yeah, it is. And if you you can customize that. So for example, like when I come to Mexico, it changes it to Mexico. Oh, nice. If I okay. always wanted it to be back home, you can configure it to do that. That will impact the display you see in the taskbar of the forecast, right? It won't always show you here unless that's what you want. Hmm. Um, it's not, you know, it's it's not a hundred percent terrible. <laughs> it was, yeah, about a year ago, it was a hundred percent terrible. It's just seventy percent terrible now. Yeah. So you know, progress. okay. Yeah, I'm adding some. I think a lot you know, of people are like me. Like they remember they tried it. It didn't customize. Yeah, so they're just like I give up. Eh, it doesn't work. Right, right. right. <laughs> well, I mean, it was terrible in the beginning. My God, uh, it was very terrible. All of the top Not stories were like celebrity <laughs> wearing next to nothing. You know, from yeah. some pop sugar yeah. or some whatever terrible yeah. sites. Yeah. Um, but it's gotten like I said, it's gotten better. Okay. All right. Okay. I still turn it off. I don't care. I don't want this. I'm working on my computer. I'm not like, I don't, Same. you know, no, I, don't I don't even care about the weather when I work. I'm just working. Oh, I like better. it. It's just, a, you know, and I don't, yeah. you know, the only thing that bugs me is if I move my accident, I move my mouse to the lower left, it will right. pop up. And Yep. I would love to turn that off. Yeah. You got to make things explicit. You know, I, yeah. you, you yeah. want to click on it to make it happen, obviously. Also, it's a little unintuitive about, you know, how it works. So. That. If only someone would write a book about this. Oh, hey, where could I <laughs> find a such a thing? <gasps> Something like a podcast. That's right. so great. Yeah, like uh, <laughs> widgets. Yeah, know, really like, a widgets what would you call it? Eventually. Hands on widgets? I don't know. <laughs> Paul's right. hands Is on that windows. Is that taken yet? No. Yes. <laughs> hands on windows. How? Uh, uh, Sirachi's doing pause on windows. He's he's signed up. Pow. Like Pow. <laughs> Uh, no. Paul's uh, hands on windows is normally hidden behind a paywall in the mm -hmm. club, but we're going to do a public version of the uh, Windows shortcuts that you did. So that's coming out this week. So everybody get to see that on the YouTube channel on uh, youtube.com. On the YouTubes? Twitter. On the tubes. If, and if you like it, you can either subscribe to Hands on Windows 
by itself for two ninety nine, or join Club Twit for seven dollars, six ninety nine a month, and uh, you'll get that and all of the shows ad free. Plus, hands on Mac. You probably don't care about that so much. Uh, no. <laughs> probably care even less about the Untitled Linux show. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Stacy's book club. You might enjoy that. There's a. You know what though? I think people need to stay abreast of things yes. that they don't use or like and that's true of not just of tech i mean i yeah. think one of the problems with this widgets thing in life in general today is that you can tune it down just to the baloney that you believe <laughs> you know and don't get to see what's going on in the whole world i the think old it's important to filter play. bubble problem yeah, I yeah. Want my it's own a big baloney. problem i don't want any other baloney my baloney 